Everybody. So are you ready to color card four in our card series? This is Bloom. She's another one of the CC Design Sweet November stamps by Amy Young. And I've already stamped her on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to start by coloring my skin first. And for my skin I'm going to use E21, E00, E000. And for the cheeks I'm going to use R20 and R30. And I'm going to start with E21. And I'm going to start down here on her arms. And I want the sun to be coming like this way on her. So I'm going to put my shadow down the back of her arm. It's very lightly. Go along the bottom where it's covering, touching the ground. And then she's got leggings on so she doesn't have any feet to color. And then I'm going to grab E20, sorry, E00. Very lightly go over that E21, soften your line, very lightly. In such a, such a small area, I'm not going to add the third color, I'm just going to use those two on that. And then I'm going to start up here on her face, and I'm going to start with again E21. And I'm just going to outline her face. little curve of her ear. And then she doesn't have a nose, so I'm going to give her one with an upside down U right here. And then I'm going to grab E00 and I'm going to soften my lines. I lightly brush over the E21. Get inside of her ear. Go over the top of her nose here, like that. And then I'm going to grab E triple zero. I'm going to fill in this white space. little bit of white left on her ear. And then I'm going to do her cheeks and I'm going to start with R20. I like my cheeks to start at the edge so I'm going to start right over here at the edge and bring it out here as far as you want her cheek color to go. And I'm going to go do the other side. And then I'm going to soften that with um, R30. So I just lightly go over the edge of the R20. And the other side too. And then I'm going to go back and add a little bit more shadow. So I'm going to grab my E21. And I'm going to darken this side up just a little bit more. So I'm going to lightly flick out here onto her cheek just a little bit because I feel this side of her face is just a little bit more in shadow than the other side. So just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab E00. 
and I'll go over the top of the E21. Just pull it out there a little bit more. Like that. And I'm going to go to this other side. Do that cheek just a little bit more on this side. And then I'm going to go over the whole thing with E triple zero. Just smooth my lines just a little bit more. Like that. Okay, for her hair, I'm going to use E47 and E44. I'm going to start with E47. I'm going to add my shadows where I want it to be the darkest. So I want it to be dark right here where the little petal touches her, her hair and down the side of her ear just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab just right next to her neck on that bottom part. And then I'm going to do E44. And again, I'll fill in the bottom down here. It's a small area, so be careful. And then I'm just going to go up here and touch down on my E47 and pull that out here into my white and color that in. And then as long as we got the browns out, let's go ahead and go down here and do her pants. And so for that, I'm going to use E44, E43, and E42. And so I'm going to start with E44, and you're going to add where you want to have your shadows first. And so it's going to be shadowed along the bottom of her leg. And her little shirt's going to cast a shadow. And then I'm going to say her little booty back here is going to have more of a shadow than the top. Because I want the sun to be shining from over here. I'm just going to have a little bit right here where her arm's touching. And then let's do the bottom of this foot and around to where her leg is kind of leaning over that foot a little bit. Same with this side. And then I'm going to grab E43. And I'm just going to lightly add some more color on top of my E44 and pull out just a little bit. Brushing over that line. There's a little spot in the back there. I'm just going to fill that all the way in. And then I'm going to grab E42 and fill the rest in. So for a shirt, we're going to use Y26 and Y23. I'm going to start with Y26. Lay down a little bit under her shirt, underneath her chin and the back side of her sleeve. This one, we're going to go down the back side of that sleeve. Right, go right along the edge of this sleeve, seam right here. And then I'm going to do right next to the back of this arm. And then I'm going to grab Y23. And I'm going to fill that in. Next, let's go ahead and do her flower. And so for that, I'm going to use R29, R27, R24, and R22. I'm going to start with the R29. And I'm going to start 
down here on this back petal and work my way around. So I'm going to start with my darkest. I'm going to do R29. I'm just going to lightly flick right along the edge of her hair here and then pull it out down here on the bottom. And this, this bottom petal I think is going to be the darkest because it's behind her. So then I'm going to grab R27. Fill that in. And then for the edge, I'm going to use R22. Then I'm going to move to the next petal, so I'll start with R29. And again, I'm going to do a shadow right next to the face, so right by the ear and down along the back of the head. And brush that out just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab R27. And then R24. And this one's still kind of down in the back, not really tipping up too much, so I'm going to, um, I won't add the R22 down in this part. So let's go with the R22 above here on the top of the petal. So I feel it's still a little bit more in shadow than maybe the top ones are. Okay, and then moving on to the next petal, and I'll go with um, R29 again. And this top this top petal is going to cast a shadow down here onto this one. I'm just going to pull just a little bit like that. And then I'm going to grab 27. Lightly brush over my 29. I'm trying to be careful not to get it on her ear. So let's go down the back side of the ear here just a little bit. brush it out just a little bit so I don't accidentally get some on there. And then let's do 24. And then I'm going to fill in the top part here with 22. I'm doing it towards the towards the red that I already laid down this time so I don't get it outside the lines. And then, oh, we'll have to fill it on the top of the petal, so let's do R22 up here on the top. Okay, next petal we'll do R29. R27 24 Turn it a little bit more here so I can get a better angle Let me put a little bit right next to this petal here And 22. And again, I'm going to go backwards so that I stay in the line. So I'm going to go up here along the top here carefully. And then brush down. And then let's do the top of the petal too. So do R22 on the top here. And then we're going to go to the other side. And so again, I'm going to start with R29. Put 
bring that out here just a bit. And then we'll grab 27. Twenty-four, and then twenty-two. Try to be careful here on the top. And brush it back. And then we want to get the top of the petal too, so let's do the R22 up here at the top. And then we'll go back to R29. Twenty-seven, twenty-four, twenty-two. Get the top. Let's go down here and get this last one. So we've got 29. And I'm going to just do a line right next to her face. And then I'm going to grab 27. And then I fill that little bit in with 24. And then I'm going to grab my 22 for the bottom. And I'm going to make this a whole piece of bottom. Okay, so for the top, I'm going to use G24, G21, and G20. I'm going to start with G24. And I think I'll do this little leaf first. So I'm just going to do a little line on top of the little seam that's there. And then go right here along the bottom. And then I'm going to grab G21. Now just a little bit, brush my little line just a tad, and then I'll fill in the tip there with G20. And then I'm going to go back and grab G24. Add a little bit closest to her head. And then right here, where it kind of has a little crease. Uh, maybe the bottom of this. And then I'm going to grab G21. And brush over my G24. And then G20. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm going to go back and grab G24 again. Add a little bit more shadow. Darken it up just a little bit more, I think. And then G20, G21. And then G20 again. I'm just going to soften that line just a little bit. Like that. Okay, so for her eyes, I'm going to use B02, B01, and B00. I'm going to start with B02, and I'm just going to go right around the pupil. And then I'm going to grab B01, and I again just slightly go on the edge of my B02. and then B double zero. Okay, so I usually should go all the way around and outline my image with C zero, so let's go ahead and do that now. And make sure to get in between our legs right here. go all the way around and it kind of makes it look like it's popping up to me and once the C0 is dry you hardly see it but it just gives it a little bit of something extra Just like okay, that. so I've got my card kit and get all my stuff out. I'm going to set the base over here on the side. Get some of my parts. And so I've got this cute little star piece, and that is going to be glued onto your tan piece. So let's go ahead and... Oh, and look at the back. This has got a cute little raccoon on the back of it. Oh, very cute. Okay, so we're going to glue this. Attach that onto this cream colored piece. And then you're going to get this little piece with the leaves. That's next. And that's going to go on top of the star piece. And then you're going to have a little yellow piece. That's going to go next. stuck. Unstick. This has to go out to the edge of the white piece, or the cream colored piece. And then we're going to put on the bow. So let me get my twine. And for my twine I'm going to let it hang off about an inch over here on this side. And I'm going to hold it. 
like this. And then I'm just going to wrap it around. until I have it back over to this side. And then I want my bow to be right here, so I'm going to go ahead and tie that. So let me put this one down here at the bottom first. Okay. You're going to tie your bow. Oops. Okay, and then you're going to fiddle with it for however long it takes you to get the bow perfect. For me, that would be, you know, 15 minutes. So we're not going to take that. We're just going to leave it and I will fiddle with it later. Okay, so then we're going to take our um, little bloom image here and we're going to attach it to this orange piece. I'm going to go ahead and grab some sticky tape here. that onto this piece. And then I'm going to take my white Sharpie paint poster paint pen and I'm going to add some dots to her cheeks. And then let's add, we want to add our sentiment. So I've got my stamp -a jig tool. Let's move the bloom out of the way here. So I've got my stamp -a jig tool. And I've got my T-square. So I'm going to put my T-square and my stamp -a jig together. And then I'm going to stamp it with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And I'm going to ink up my cinnamon. And this is from the Be Happy Cinnamon Set. And it does not come with the kits because I use the cinnamon on each card. So you have to get that separate. And then I'm going to take my little image and my piece of plastic and I line it up wherever I want my sentiment to be. And then you put your T-square back onto the piece of plastic. And then you pick up the plastic. Oops. And I'm going to restamp my, my stamp and run that down the side of the T-square right onto my image. like that. And then I want to add some pop dots to the back so I can pop her up. And we're going to attach that to our card. And you may have to move your um, string around a little bit underneath of the card, but that's our card this time. All right, since we've made it to the end of our cards, I said I would try to do up a little box. So I've come up with a simple box to put my, my four cards into. And what you're going to need is a 7 and 3 fourths piece of whatever card stock you want and an 8 inch piece of whatever card stock you would like. I am I used craft because um, the cards were already a craft color, so that's what I used. And then I just took, this is the 8 inch piece. I took the 8 inch piece and then I put it on my score pal and I scored it an inch on each side and then on I picked two sides and here I've cut the little tabs down to the score line on this side so it's just got where it's scored I just cut it there and then I cut it on this side too and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add some glue to these little tabs 
So you do that for both pieces. And then you're just going to fold that in and you're going to stick it. So same for this side, you'll fold it in and then you'll stick it down. And this is just a simple box. I'm not a box maker, so this is what I came up with that was pretty easy. And then I picked, um, I think this is a Labels 21 Spellbinders die, and I ran it through my um, Grand Caliber, and I picked some stamps, and I stamped those on here. You could color them if you wanted. But then the smaller piece is the bottom of the box, and I've already made that up. So you're gonna, you can go ahead and put your cards in there. Put the lid on. You could decorate it however you wanted. You could put some ribbon around it. Um, it's totally up to you, but it's just a simple box so you could give the packet of cards to a friend. And if you didn't have the special die, you could always do a square die, um, a rectangular die, a circle die. You could just leave it blank and decorate the top with the stamped images. Maybe do another stamped image, color it, and put that on the top of your box to decorate it. It's totally up to you. But thanks for joining me for the series, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.